Yeah, See, a trick question this one, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a fair point. Parsi, you nowhere. wouldn't be gone nowhere. Don't <laughs> worry about your phone. G'day, I'm Nick. I'm Isaac. And today we're on board an Emirates A380. Um, and we're going to give you an insight into where we went and what we did in the off-season. Where did you travel in the off-season? Uh, so I went to Bali after the season uh, with a few of the lads, which was really good. Um, kicked feet up for a little bit, actually bumped into a few of the other lads, and then went to Byron Bay. I was Europe for four weeks with my girlfriend and then um, on to America with some mates for a couple of weeks. Right, what was the highlight of your travels? Ooh, that's a good question. Gee, it was a good trip. Um, I loved Santorini um, at night time. It was, yeah, we had a great view and that was awesome. And then um, in America, probably going to the UFC. I haven't um, seen the UFC live, so that was my first time going to the UFC and I loved it. Sick. Uh, my highlight probably would have been just sitting by a day pool with a frozen strawberry daiquiri in hand. That was that was pretty good, just kicking the feet up, to be honest. Tough life for you, Pussy. Mm-hmm. What's the craziest thing that's happened to you while travelling? Well, actually last year when I went to Europe, I got my backpack stolen on a bus from Paris to Amsterdam. Had my like, watch and bracelet and cash in it, so that was a bit of a hell. Yeah. What about you? I haven't had too much crazy stuff happen. Um, the worst thing probably was tonsillitis in Sicily. <laughs> and I told you about that. I had tonsillitis in Sicily um, and it was 30 degrees there and it lasted for about 9 to 10 days and I could not eat anything. So um, that was pretty rough for me. Yeah, nothing worse than being sick and not being at home. Yeah, and 30 degree weather and you like got the sweats. Oh my gosh. Tell me about the sport you saw in the USA and Europe. Some basketball games in the States, so that was awesome. You know, I love my basketball. Got to see so. Bron, is that right? Got to see Bron um, live. That was a bucket list thing, I reckon. For sure. Seeing Bron live. Um, he's like, man, he's massive. Like 20, 30 metres away. <laughs> and he moves so well for his size. Like, he, yeah. he's so athletic. He's nuts. Yeah, yeah, you're right. How many clones do you pack when you <laughs> That's actually a good question. I was in, when I went to Bali, I probably brought about five. So I need options, you know? Yeah, change it up. Depends on the day. But, um, yeah, about that. Depends where I'm going, though. Is it true you got your own one coming out? Yeah, it's in the works. It's in the works. I love there that. It's a good plug. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Now that I've ticked off Europe, I love the States. I always love going to the States with the sport. I'd probably say um, Tokyo. I'd love to go to Tokyo. Tokyo. Yes, yeah, that'd be, I completely agree. That'd be right up there for me. Um, my other answer would be, I'd love to do like, like a little Africa tour, like yeah. do like Ghana, Nigeria, Egypt, South Africa. Yeah. That'd be really cool. So, one item you can't travel without. Uh, my phone, probably. Ooh, that's you, a good one. You flat with that, like photos and that, and like I'm paying for stuff. What about you? Phone is a good one. Yeah, give me something. Give me something a little bit left field. Thank God, no passport. Yeah, See, was a trick question this one, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a fair point. Parsi, you wouldn't be gone nowhere. Don't worry about your phone. Thanks very much for watching our Emirates Travel Diaries. Cheers.